Hey guys, it's me, Curtis Schweppe, back in the shop working on the Easy Path lathe. Been having a lot of difficulty trying to get this thing to get the spindle to turn, but tonight I made some success. Check out and see what I did here. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this schematic. Uh, this really helped me a lot. Um, I, a lot of guys were saying that you don't want that third generated leg from the phase converter to power anything but the motors. So if you look at this closely, um, you can see you got L1, L2, L3 coming down, and then it kind of splits. It goes to what I think, I believe this is, these are two transformers here that power the rest of the devices in the machine. So they got L1 and L2 coming down here powering one, and then they got L2, L3 powering the other one. So I was like, okay, I got nothing else to lose. Let's just try something real quick. So I took this 2L3 wire, moved it from the fuse output here, and I jumped it over here to this fuse output. Still kept this wire here, this 2L1, it's still hooked up also to that fuse 11. Got fuse 11, 12, and 13 right here. So basically eliminating this leg to this transformer and jumping it over to fuse 11. And I'll show you it here inside the panel. We have, this is the fuse 13, and 12, and 11 right here. So I took that wire that was there, and I put it over here, that 2L3, it's right next to 2L1, in that same junction area on the fuse. And then, I was able to come over here to the machine, and I thought, okay, let's give it a try. And flip the lathe lever on. She's spinning. Making me very happy. Brake works. Goes both directions. Very excited. So, now we can start turning some parts. However, I do want to get an electrician out here to confirm that this is going to be operational safe and I don't want to go into overload or anything like that or cause any electrical fires. So I'm still going to unhook everything tonight just to be safe until I can confirm that this is all going to be good to go. Uh, hopefully this will help out you guys whenever you're uh, having issues wiring up your easy path to a phase generator. This one is hooked up to a 20 horsepower Phoenix phase converter. I just got this because at first I thought my little seven and a half horsepower wasn't big enough for this lathe. Well, who knows? Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was, but now I got a 20 horse and this thing is super quiet. I really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is they leave that shaft exposed. I'm going to make a cover for that. That seems really dangerous. But anyway, um, really excited again, got this lathe powered up and working. I'm going to start turning some parts. I got already a couple things on the list, so if you uh, like what you see here and get more uh, projects going, more solutions for the problems here in the shop, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and check out my other videos on this lathe. Thanks guys.